Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes React. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Dan. Together we are the Office Blokes. We are. Uh -huh. Collective net worth of $63,815,000. Some people have. In our dreams. <laughs> Lira. <laughs> <Yeah>. Rupees. Quacha. <laughs> Yeah. Blip blops. What, what's the Zimbabwean <laughs> one? The, that's not around anymore. Was it Zimrand? Something like that. Oh, yeah. yeah about but, 10 yeah. billion didn't mm. you? It was worth about a quid. quid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think Ash has got the final note. Oh, really? She's got like a trillion dollar note at home. A trillion dollar? <laughs> Where wow. I, think, I think they'd already taken eight zeros off the currency because the notes were just getting that silly. <laughs> massive like, long like, like, like a massive like check you get when you win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like, no zeros on it. Well, we're going to check out touring wow. a $63 million, $63,815,000 futuristic billionaire's row New York City penthouse. Nice. Job done. Like these property well done, ones. Dave. We've not done one for a few weeks. No, I know. No. They have some spectacular uh, apartments and stuff in there. See what $64 Amazing. million get you. Mm. It's, it's incomprehensible wealth, isn't it? Yeah. Because oh, it's huge, isn't it? It's probably going to be either an investment property or someone's second home, isn't it? Yeah, it's to be someone's like uh, just New York um, headquarters type thing. Yeah, yeah. For the, the uh, for when for when they're traveling to the USA. Yeah. yeah. Fuel up the private jet. Take yeah. me to the uh, sixty-three million dollar penthouse. Mm -hmm. It'd be someone out. that's got one in like New York, London, Paris, all around. Everybody talk about pop music. <laughs> <laughs> but you're breaking out into song then, mate. I remember that I nearly did. Yeah. yeah. Should we do it? Come on. A tour in a sixty-three million eight hundred fifteen thousand. Dollar. That's the worst time I've done it out. Yeah, it's terrible day. We're just going to get into the video. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Standing 76 floors above the lush greens of Central Park, the navy blues of the Hudson River is a penthouse like no other comprising the entire 76th and 77th floors. Atop Jean Nouvel's iconic crystalline tower is Penthouse 76 at 53 West 53rd Street. The penthouse has four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms with just under 8,000 square feet of living space and five-star hotel amenities in one of the most iconic cities in the world. Mm. Seems a little bit pokey to me, a little uh, bit narrow. A bit narrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, what was it, 80,000 square feet? 8,000. 8,000. It's pants, yeah. rubbish. <laughs> it's uh, when he says the uh, one of the world's most iconic cities, I think it is the world, the world's God, most iconic. Just look at that skyline at night. It looks yeah. absolutely amazing as well, doesn't yeah. it? I the think lights. the attempt is to get places like Dubai and Abu Dhabi and places like Not that even close. in the conversation, yeah. mm. but I don't think you'll ever be as iconic as New York. No chance. For no. a no. metropolitan sort of They might city. be able to throw up a few high-rise buildings, but that's completely the, different. The only, one, the only other one that comes in a similar sort of like, uh, what's it, Hong Kong? Maybe, yeah, yeah. Singapore. Yeah. Singapore. Mm, Singapore's not the same, not, not like that, but it's, Hong Kong, I would say, you know, very, very sort of like similar close. Yeah. Um, but when you look at things like there's nowhere that beats New York for me. Well, it's That's not, it, again, it's personal opinions. People yeah. hate New York. But it's, it's the personality of the place as well, yeah. wasn't it? It's like a real yeah. living, Seven breathing things. city. The, the, all these other ones are sort of like plastic cities as far as I'm it's concerned. It's got everything. It's got everything yeah. you need. Well, that's, that's what I was yeah. going to, what you just said, Mike, I was going to touch on that where the history and everything, mm. like you can you can build a city with a skyline just as yeah. impressive if yeah, you've anyway, got unlimited money. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Blackpool. but you yeah. know, we grew up on like gangster movies of the mafia mm. in yep. New York in yep. the 40s and things mm. like that. And it's iconic for over a century, yeah. probably yeah. two centuries, isn't There's it? There's loads of movies you can you can go through. Yeah. And it's about everything about it. It's got everything. It's got sport. It's got best restaurants, best, you know, bars, you know, uh, nightlife, day life. Got all the idiots on the subway. It's got everything. <laughs> all, <laughs> all the performance artists. All the lunatics. lunatics. It's yeah. got everything. All the rats. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Starting this episode on the street because I wanted to show you what it's like to go from the streets of New York City up into this penthouse. And I feel like in a lot of these videos, we never really show what it's like to physically go from the streets through the lobby up into the apartment. So as you can see entering immediately, you come into a different world just by the finishes here in the lobby, automatic doors which open up and greet you into a pretty tranquil space. I mean, you heard how loud it was on the streets there. And the elevators are located right off of the main sitting area. Let's head on up. Going up. Nowadays, you see them elevators where you're punching the floor you want to go in. Have you seen them? 
So what you do, you've got like a variety of elevators. So you've got about 15, 20 elevators or like going yeah. up in these high rises because you, so, you need speed sort of thing. You don't right. want to be going onto the 73rd floor and stopping at every floor because someone's yeah. getting on or around, dicking about in the elevator. You paid 60 million and some little kid yeah. goes, yeah. presses all yeah. the buttons. <laughs> or someone does what I did. I lent it on them once. <laughs> I just saw like lent in, like leaning on the wall and I thought, oh, that's all the buttons. Oh, just the whole thing just no. lit up. So I think I just see everyone staring at me. Yeah. But you, you, you normally just punch in what floor you want to go to and it allocates you a lift. It'll go like number six. Oh, and then that'll okay. be your, that'll be for you. Ah, right, I get And then you're yeah. getting that you're getting number six. So it's, like, it's, it's a lot more. Six. It's a lot more clever than yeah. just a thing that correct goes up or down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. correct. Yeah, right. yeah. Wow, I never knew that. Right off of the elevator, we are now up on the 76th floor, entering the private foyer or foyer of this penthouse. If you look to my right, we have southern views with one World Trade Center yeah. framed perfectly in the window. Mm, Into my right. left here, Brilliant. check this out. This is your northern exposure. We also have the in-house elevator off to my left here. This is the wow factor in this penthouse. We have 22 foot high ceilings here in the great room with a view on Central Park to the north. Wow. It's yeah. only from the second floor Juliet balcony where you can get a sense of the volume of the double height ceilings. 22 foot high ceilings in an apartment is pretty unheard of. It was really built for an entertainer and there's a lot of cool features in this great room aside from the fact that you have 180 degree views of New York City. Just to break down those views off to my east, you've got your sunrises, you have Queens, Brooklyn, even the Atlantic Ocean on a clear day. And now the northern views, we have floor to ceiling glass windows overlooking Central Park. And I mean, you can see the entire park. You've got the reservoir to the north. What was that really long yeah. building? Yeah, like long thin we've, one. We've done one on that before. Is that the one That's where it was the, the top, the yeah. top yeah. with yeah. the kind of, there was like a yeah. terrace or something yeah. up there, wasn't there? Yeah looks too thin to me is there's that, a few of them there's a few of them on that row isn't there it's like uh yeah, Bill, billionaires row, row yeah. Yeah. yeah is that the one that was like one one something was it called one something the building mm -hmm. can't remember possibly i think that was 250 million or something yeah. that one yeah. yeah central park and i mean you can see the entire park you've got the reservoir to the north sheep's meadow upper east side upper west side even all the way up the hudson river to the north there making our way around You've got your sunsets, your western views of the Hudson River, looking over the Upper West Side, Jersey off there in the distance. And it really is that space for entertaining. We have a bar here, open shelves behind us. And the focal point is this 11 foot wide gas fireplace, which is clad in limestone. And over top the fireplace is this massive Peter Lane art piece, really adding volume to the space here. Like having ceilings this high, you want to have a massive piece of art. And I wanna show you something really unique. So a lot of times in these ultra high end penthouses, a lot of people are wondering, how do you get fresh air in? So with the push of your finger, the panels open up, you turn the handle, and your window opens to get fresh air uh. all the way up here on the 76th floor. <laughs> a nice little hidden fun feature. We'll keep that shuffling out because it's kind of hot. It's the middle of summer. Did that make you go a bit weird as well? <laughs> it did, actually, yeah. I don't know why. I just thought it's going to open all the way. And be like, oh, no. <laughs> I, the the uh, oh. desire to just hold my phone out of that little yeah, gap. Yeah, yeah. I've, I always want to hold my phone over big drops for some reason. Imagine, a, imagine it might be a ledge. Do you think it drops all the way to the floor? I don't Ooh, know. Yeah, mm. not sure. Doesn't open very wide, does it? No. There's no danger in. of falling out of that, thankfully. But still, no, it made, so, no, still but made me go a bit yeah. weird. Mm. But I thought that was such a cool design feature. Straight to the floor. Yeah, isn't it? And now we're going to make our way around the apartment back down this gallery hallway. Again, you've got your views to the east. Connecting the two gallery hallways, we have a powder room here with a pocket door. It's a New York City fan favorite for saving space. And if you check out this bathroom, it is clad in travertine, floating vanity. You've got a full floor length mirror here with the LED lights built right into the wall. Very sleek and minimal design here. From the powder room, you've got this nice airy gallery hallway which connects the length of the space. And then off to my left here, this is the formal corner dining room. You've got seating for 10 here. Again, it's a corner room, so you have views of Central Park from the dining room table here. It is one of those views where it is really just that mesmerizing. But back into the dining room, another large piece of art here the, for the focal point of the dining room. And off to the east, again, you can see the ocean on a clear day. And you can even now see how the light is playing off the space. It really is a work of art. 
So your formal dining room then flows into the windowed custom kitchen by Terra Dispont for Maltini. We have a nice little breakfast moment here, have your morning coffee. You've got beautiful polished statuary marble countertops which waterfall edge down to the floor and a backlit statuary marble backsplash which really complement the back painted glass cabinetry, which has this polished nickel detailing. If you look really closely, all the tops have that polished nickeling. The beauty of the cabinetry is with the push of your finger, it's all motorized to open. And then to close, simply push this button here. I really want to point out how high the ceilings are. You have so much storage in this kitchen. Push the buttons to close up everything. It's not nice. my style of kitchen what whatsoever, it but it's perfect for that. Yeah, it's in the, oh, it's definitely it's mine. The only thing that bothers yeah, me is people name. pressing the things and fingerprints on them. <laughs> it drives me insane. Yeah, you have to leave some gloves out on the side yeah, or something yeah. like that for everyone to wear. Like snooker referee gloves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you've got some upstairs cabinets. with you. that furniture we got that time. Yeah, so right, I've got yeah. a few pairs of those. <laughs> It's eastern facing, so when the sunlight comes in here, it really illuminates the glass on these cabinets. Let's just break down the island. So we have seating for three here. Again, more storage down below. Large trough sink here in the center. Your appliance suite is melee. Then again, just to point out the form and the function here. All is that cooker gas? Well, there's a gas fire in the other room. So there's gas running oh, I suppose in there. it would be, wouldn't it? Mm. Like it I yeah. didn't think they had gas in buildings like this. Mm. No. I just, yeah, just yeah, I assumed yeah. big shared buildings weren't allowed, you know, because some idiot might leave the gas on and the whole yeah. thing blow up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 I never thought of that. All of this storage, I mean, you definitely need a stool to access this, but I think it is beautiful when you have technology which meets design and meets the function, creating, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful kitchens I've seen in a luxury yeah, listing. Nice. And I've seen a ton mm. of apartments. So I'm not just saying, oh, this is the best. This one's pretty damn cool. Again, cappuccino maker, oven here but out of the kitchen we're back into that connecting gallery hallway and now we're going to check out the southern wing of the house we're off to my left we actually have a guest bedroom and wait till you see the view in this guest bedroom it's a corner unit here with a southern and eastern exposure with pristine downtown views i mean you have everything here you've got views of the sub observation deck 30 rock empire state building all the way down to the one world trade center Hudson River, and then again, you've got those Eastern views, so sunrise to wake you up. And this really is the perfect guest suite. You had that friend from out of town. If you follow me, we do have an ensuite bathroom, again, with that travertine on the floors, floating vanity. You've got that LED light strip going up the entire vanity to give you that perfect lighting. So out of your guest bedroom, we're now entering the lounge here in the penthouse, and just check out these Southern views. I do want to point out that the building is actually built on the slightest angle, which really maximizes that Southern sunlight to pour into the space. But let's break down those views for a second. So we've got floor to ceiling glass windows here with beautiful downtown views, Chrysler Building, Empire State Building, Hudson Yards. You can even see all the way down to One World Trade Center. And this is really that kind of hangout room, for instance. You've got your wet bar built in here. You've got your mirror and the backsplash here of the wet bar so you can watch the view while you're making your drink. In the corner, this is one of my favorite moments in this apartment. This is your office nook. So right here we have a nice little desk with the views picture perfect of the Hudson River facing west. Sunsets coming in. You even have a little bookshelf built in here. And then this behind me, this cool texture on the wall here, just complements all the art, which is primarily that clay. I really think it's a grounding feeling in the space. Even Such a weird little space, that. No, it's, it's awesome, though. Mm. Yeah, it's strange to get a like a little space like that in an apartment like this, isn't it? Yeah. Normally it's just everything's just big and bold. Just maximising the uh, the areas, aren't they? Yeah. It's a great idea. Even though it sort of is squeezed in there, it didn't feel like it. Mm. Like you'd quite comfortably sit there for a couple of hours mm. on your laptop. Yeah. Well, you've got a window you? like that with a view there. I mean, <laughs> you'd probably stay there all day, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. Brilliant. Even in the southern views, you've got <laughs> your air window <laughs> so you can get that fresh air even oh, when you're man. 76 floors above New York City. And if you look behind me, Here's another view of that first entry hallway. This is your gallery when you first enter the apartment. So again, you have the service elevator, the in-house elevator, and then the two building elevators right here in this gallery hallway. And on the staircase, you've got the inlaid lighting here, so you're not tripping at yes. night when you're going up or down your staircase. Yeah. Like, how rare is it in a New York City apartment to have a staircase? It's one of those things for the average New Yorker watching, myself included, to just have a staircase in your house in the city. Wild stuff. But off of the staircase, we've got the 
first guest bedroom here on the second floor with those pristine views of lower Manhattan. And this is staged as the kids' room. Could you imagine being a kid living here, waking up and seeing that every day? In the camera, does it look as impressive as it feels in here? So yeah, we've got your kids' room with those views. On the back wall here and on the ceilings, we have this cool woven fabric texture here with a hidden door, which leads. Like, look how large this bathroom is. For the kids' room, you have got a little desk moment area here with your views to the east. On the floors we have travertine, also travertine on the floating vanity with a full length mirror here with storage built right into the mirror. Pretty cool. And then again you've got those light bars on the side, steam shower behind me, got the throne, and then the closet here connects to the entrance of the bedroom. Out of the kids room into the gallery hallway here on the second floor, you could display your art collection here. At the very end now we're heading north. We have your den slash media room here, which overlooks the great room. And now you really get that view of Central Park in your face, looking all the way down. It just fills up the frame of that double height window here. This is the den, super casual, comfy, huge couch built in here. You've got your TV. And then on the other side here, we have another Juliet balcony to look down over the great room. Pretty cool. This is actually the in-house elevator. Pretty spacious, wood finishes. And this, this is your bedroom for, I guess, your, your least favorite child. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. This is like an office area, a little hangout reading room, floor to ceiling glass with views of the east. I mean, look at those views. It really is the case in a place like this where the views are the main selling point, but then you have all the finishes, the amenities. When you do purchase this penthouse, not only do you get the space, but also all the amenities here in the building. We're now down on the amenities floor, and I'm gonna show you a few of my favorites. This is a golf simulator. You can play anywhere in the world, anytime you want. Fitness center, we've got a studio here, tons of free weights, kettlebells, everything you would need to get in a full-on workout. Treadmills here, and there's even squash courts. There's also a 65 foot long lap pool with a hot and cold plunge and at either end of the pool, this is a living green wall to really circulate fresh oxygen into the swimming area. And if you look up, there's a mirror on the ceiling making our way back into that gallery hallway. It's a bargain mm. now if you get your gym membership thrown in for free. Oh yeah, yes. 63 million. Is that, that, that amenities <laughs> floor that he's talking about? Is that for? Is that like um, shared? Shared, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. I think he said for it. I don't know if he said everyone in the building, mm. but he said it was for the building. <clears throat> yeah, right. so maybe it's like the top mm. 20 floors. Get just it for the 76th floor. Be all yeah. the bought apartments. <laughs> I'm guessing, won't it? Yeah. yeah. We're now about to enter the owner's suite here in the penthouse. One of those bedrooms where you don't have to say a whole lot. You've got your views to the north. Central Park, floor to ceiling windows overlooking the oasis in New York City here. For perspective, this owner's suite is 1,300 square feet, which in the city is a very large apartment. That's a mm. pretty decent sized house anywhere in the world. This bedroom is split, so you're gonna go that way, I'm gonna go this way, and we're then going to connect down these two hallways to the southern facing owner's bathroom which is one of the most expensive bathrooms in the entire city. To start it off, you could keep this open concept or you've got a pocket door which can close off the space. The first main feature we're really gonna look at here are the materials. We have travertine, limestone, and polished marble. This is your walk-in steam shower with a travertine bench. If you look up, that might be one of the largest rainfall shower heads I have seen. Again, steam shower, so you have all the steam vents here, your fixtures, you can even see views here in the shower with that floating vanity mirror. On the far side, you have mirrors along the wall here. This opens up into the actual water closet with a toilet and a bidet. You've got two vanities. This is the first one here. You have built-in travertine drawers down below. You've got that sink etched into the travertine. And with the click of a button, your vanity is motorized and can rise or lower depending on the buyer's height. I'm pretty tall for reference and I'm actually shocked that it can go that high. This opens up, we have an outlet built into the vanity here, a mirror in the shelving here, and then you have that ring light on the vanity with that polished nickel on the fixtures and around the vanity mirror here. The centerpiece is your soaking tub with wow. your views of Southern yeah. Manhattan. On the other side, we have an exact copy, so you have that. 
You know what they never wow. show on these videos that I'd love to Someone see? Someone in the bath. Someone in the bath, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not just one person for that money. Um, no, they would never get to see the nighttime views. Yeah. Yeah, that's mm. true. Which I'd, I'd love to see everything lit up. Oh, yeah. Out of a clear night. sky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Yeah. That same vanity, the same cool rising automated mirror here, a nice little day bed. We've got another pocket door here. Keep it open, close it off. And then wrapping around on that other side, Welcome to your walk-in closet, which is showroom level as far as the quality here. All LED inlaid, glass enclosed for the more expensive gowns and dresses, seating in the middle of the closet. Let's have another look here at the owner's suite. And I'm going to hang around for a few hours because I really want you to see what this place looks like at night. Ah, there you go. Look at that. It's more like it, isn't it? I love that YouTube's interactive now. I can yeah, just say it and it'll happen. Yeah. Hanging around a few hours, I'm going to have my lunch here. I'm going to sit yeah. down, a few beers. Oh, my mates are coming over. Yeah, the skyline at night. You're not Stunning. going to beat that anywhere in the world, I don't think. Like I say, it's Hong Kong's the only one that springs to my Hong mind. Hong Kong, yeah, like, definitely. Yeah. But the, the buildings here are so iconic mm. and recognisable straight yeah. off the bat. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Down your thoughts on this listing. Let me know what you think. We'll let you know our thoughts right now. Mm. That's a really great looking building, that one as well. Was. I love the, the framework of it, so substantial, but it carries on inside the apartment. Yeah. Looks absolutely brilliant. Yeah. It was just a uh, it was a stunning, stunning apartment, to be yeah. honest. Absolutely. Like I said, it's not I don't like the sort of modern style and the marble and all that mm. sort of stuff, yeah. but in a place like that. It has to be. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. got to be that, fits, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. You couldn't have old, oldy worldy sort of like a no. cottage kitchen or anything. It's just, no. It's Oak just beams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the, it, was, it was mint inside. It was right. That's oh, right on my street. That same here. Absolutely. So that, that, all that finishing and all that yeah. way it's done. That's exactly what and I did. Such a high class finish yeah. as well, isn't it? Yeah. He kind yeah. of alluded Amazing. to the fact that the artwork is thrown in as well, mm. which is an interesting yeah. one. It, yeah. Artwork was great as well. Again, just fitted in superbly yeah, with the actual yeah, apartment. Doesn't necessarily mean it's multi-million dollar artwork. No, but he mm, did yeah. the one that was above the fireplace, and he said the name of the artist and mm. stuff. I bet that was, I bet it's expensive artwork. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. God knows how much, but yeah, it's sixty million. million yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're not going to get a. Uh, you're not going to get a local school kid sticking shit on the wall, are you? A printed you know constable. I mean? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Wayne. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, nice. uh, yeah, fantastic finish. I love that. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, Cheers. guys. Cheers.